Today we are talking about why I stopped investing in Palantir temporarily. For more videos on Palantir, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get into the video. The artificial intelligence industry is experiencing remarkable growth in 2024, propelling AI-related technology companies to unprecedented heights. NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Alphabet are among the prominent beneficiaries of this surge. Similarly, Palantir, a leading AI software company listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker P. LTR has garnered significant attention from customers and investors alike. The company has seen its revenue growth rate improve in recent quarters, with its stock price rising by over 56% in the first half of 2024. Despite the positive outlook for Palantir, there are some risks associated with the company. While Palantir may not be as well known as consumer technology giants like Amazon and Alphabet, it has played a crucial role in the enterprise software sector, particularly in serving government clients. Founded in 2003 to assist the United States government in counterterrorism operations, Palantir has expanded over the years to serve public sectors both domestically and internationally. Through its Gotham platform, government agencies can derive insights from unstructured data sources, both internal and external, to make critical decisions, many of which are matters of life and death. Leveraging its experience in the public sector, Palantir ventured into the commercial sector with its Foundry platform, which helps large corporations analyze complex data sets to enhance decision making and business operations. Although AI technology has gained significant attention recently, Palantir has been utilizing it for years to help its clients make sense of their extensive data sources. Since last year, Palantir has been well positioned to capitalize on the growing interest in AI by offering AI solutions. For instance, the company launched the Artificial Intelligence platform in April last year, enabling existing clients to harness the latest AI technologies, such as large language models, on their current data and infrastructure. Additionally, Palantir introduced the Artificial Intelligence Platform Bootcamp, allowing potential clients to experience the impact on their business operations. Statista estimated that the AI market will reach $184 billion in 2024 and could grow to $827 billion by 2030. With revenue of $2.2 billion in 2023, Palantir's prospects appear almost boundless compared to the opportunity ahead. However, there are still crucial questions that investors must address before committing to Palantir. The primary concern is whether the recent interest in AI will be sustainable or if it will fade away, similar to the metaverse in recent years. For instance, JP Morgan estimated in 2022 the metaverse would generate annual revenue of $1 trillion. However, two years later, interest in this area has waned, with Statista estimating the industry will reach $74 billion in 2024. If the AI trend turns out to be a passing fad or develops slower than anticipated, AI software companies like Palantir could face similar challenges. Despite Palantir's first quarter growth rate improving to 21% in 2024, up from 18% in the same period last year, more evidence is needed to confirm the sustainability of this trend. However, I do not think that AI is going to go away. Instead, Instead, I think AI is here to stay. But even with that being said, I am cautious about Palantir's extremely high valuation. The stock trades at a price to earnings ratio of 215. In comparison, Alphabet trades at a price to earnings ratio of 29 times. If Palantir fails to meet investor expectations, or if the AI trend proves weaker than expected, the stock price could plummet to reflect this new reality. The risk is substantial, as Palantir's stock would need to fall by over 85% to match Alphabet's valuation. Many argue that the AI trend is one of the most significant developments of our generation, with the potential to revolutionize both work and personal lives. Palantir could indeed be one of the major beneficiaries of this trend, at least according to its most enthusiastic supporters. The company possesses proven tools to help clients harness the value of AI from the outset, a significant advantage over many startups still refining their offerings. Right now, I own enough Palantir stock, and I feel no need to buy more at its current valuation. It is too expensive, and I own too much to justify investing investing more into a singular growth stock, while there are plenty of other deals that I am taking advantage of right now. Therefore, I will stay on the sidelines until I see a new opportunity or a great deal on Palantir. In the end, the artificial intelligence industry is booming in 2024, benefiting companies like Nvidia, Microsoft, and Alphabet. Palantir has also seen significant growth and interest, with its stock price rising over 56% in the first half of 2024. Despite its strong position in the market and potential for future growth, concerns about the sustainability of the AI trend and Palantir's high valuation could cause problems for the stock. For more videos, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.